by the way, my name is Lakshmi Narsimhan. I'm the director at International Relations. Um, I have a plane to catch at 4.30. So I was just getting out and uh, Supraja asked me whether I can spend about 10 minutes, uh, you know, talking to you as to what is my personal experience and what is the value personally I gained during this MDP course. So I thought I would share a, a, a few experience of mine and what I have learned to the people over here because you guys are really the veterans of, of, of UHP seems to be. And I'm just a kid on the block. So I just want to make sure I share some of my experience to you guys. All right? Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes, okay, sir. fine, fine. Okay. Um, about, uh, near, about a month and a half ago, uh, Supraja walked to my office and asked me whether... I'll be interested in attending an MDP for the UHP, about the UHP program. And I said, I have attended many management development programs in my life, and um, I, I'm not really thinking that I don't know what value I gain out of it. And uh, she said, you know, you will have some value, just try it out. You just come for either half a day or one day or two days, whatever the number of days you can attend. If you're interested, then you can stay back. Otherwise you can do whatever you want. I said, still, I'm not convinced. Since he spent about uh, approximately about 20 minutes talking about the real value you gain out of attending a course and specifically the changes she has personally gone through. And uh, that was an eye opening to me. And when I asked her, you know, uh, for example, you know, if you don't get a raise this year after a performance evaluation, uh, how would you feel about it? He said, I, it's okay to me. Um, I enjoy what I do and it's okay with me. And that's really very surprising to me. So I thought that probably there's a value there. So I went to the course. The course was really a three-day course. Uh, and in the beginning, for the for a few minutes, I wasn't really impressed at all. Then after about five, six minutes, and we saw some videos about um, wastage and uh, you know uh, some videos about the personal development and the real value and accumulation of wealth and what is the purpose of accumulating wealth. Then it's really opened my eyes a little bit more. Um, actually, my, my kids really gone through this process personally before myself, you know, I am about 60 plus or 70 plus. So for me, it's a very good experience actually. The, the main important thing that really comes out very clearly is in this one is the accumulation of wealth is not really that pleasurable or that for the individual. Um, two values. There are some value people think that, you know, I got this million dollars and that million dollars, this many houses, this many cars. You can only say it, but what value you gained out of it is something that, you know, um, it, you will really realize it only you go through your personal experience. That's one thing I really learned it. The second thing I also learned very much importantly here is how much we waste, how much we accumulate, you know, instead of having about 25 points, 25 shirts, ties, any number of ties, matching ties, matching these things and everything. And I don't know what is the value we gain out of that. Um, so these two are very much, I learned it. And afterwards, about uh, a week ago, I went to another UHP2 program. It's a five-day program or a six-day program. I think it's a five-day program. Started on Tuesday. I started on Tuesday and went. And in the one that I really mentioned is giving, giving is more pressurable than gaining, gaining or taking, taking. So overall, if I look at the, the, the program, the program brings immeasurable value uh, for every individual if they really think and also personalize themselves. It is something that you cannot teach. They have to really experience it. They have to feel it. And that thing really comes out very clearly in these classes uh, when I went through, actually. So I would like to really see... I also told Supraja that you know, if I can be of any help to really make sure that um, that if our students really have some experience in this and and contribute to the world by giving, not taking from everything, you know, like we saw Kiasu attitude in in, in, in Singapore actually, is we say you know you take everything whatever it's coming, you know whether you want it or not, just take it and keep it in your house whether you like it or not. So I think that you know if I look at very carefully, I took I, I took away three points from here. One is don't buy it if it is not required. And uh, second thing, what I learned it is giving is more important. And the most important third, third thing is you, you have to really internalize and personalize yourself going forward with the idea of, you know, what is the value? Does it really, what is the true value? 
you know, um, and that is extremely important. I think that, you know, and I, everybody, somebody asked me, you know, they don't want to research. You don't want to Nobel laureates. You don't want to, you, you need to have a competition, but you compete with yourself. And you know, I don't know how many of you play golf here in the golf. You don't play against somebody. You play by, against yourself, like for the hand, handicaps and everything are measured against you. If you have a handicap of 10, you want to make it as a handicap of seven, six next time. So you, that is the way you want to develop yourself saying that what kind of a thing I do by studying, by research or by leading to the, to the human society. So if you think like that, even Nobel laureates are very important because they really contribute to the society by their research. So I think that, you know, people will say, oh, you guys want to be after day, after doing UHV and everything, you know, go, be, go as a saints and live in a village or something. That's true. And I think that, you know, only people really understood the, the, the value of UHV or really went through the experience, they would really understand that. And for, above all, I would like to really thank our uh, universities, um, um, the UHV coordinators and for doing a wonderful job so far. And I think they are just scratching the surface right now. And I think we can do a lot more. And thank you for the uh, for the opportunity given to me. And I would like to do it more if I can in the near future. Thank you. Thank you very much.